Hi everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm unboxing the August 2023 Paper Pumpkin Meaningful Flowers. Um, I do skip this box a lot, but I think I uh, was interested in the ad that's always included for the following month, so I, I purchased this one. I'm in my living room, sorry, because I have a big craft project on my craft desk, so... When you open it, yeah, I think one of the reasons why I got this was there was an extra stamp set involved. And this is probably it. And here's the regular one. Um, you are capable of amazing things. Your friendship is unforgettable. And you're, you rise above the best. So what is this called? Meaningful Flowers. And then our little ink spot is Pretty Peacock. Right, and it comes wrapped up. And then it's wrapped up in the plastic here. Hopefully, I'm trying to get my self out of the shadowing of this. Let me move around a little bit. All right. So let me open this. If I can, here you go. So it always comes with everything you need. The first month you order, you get a um, block, a stamp block. And, uh, Yeah, so here's the cards. It's pretty. And then the lilies. Oh, that's a lily. How pretty. Gives you the directions. Super pretty. And it gives you um, an address for alternatives. And this is everything in the kit. We have some thread and double-sided tape and some embellishments and um, stamp and dimensionals. And then we have our card fronts, the lily pads and the envelopes, cute with the little um, impression. Oh, this is neat. Forget me not flower, small and del oh, so this is this is really cool. I've never seen them do anything like that. So this is the card front for the forget me not, and then it talks about it on the back. Love that. I don't see an advertisement for next month in here. So I'm gonna have to keep my eye out whether I want to pause it or Continue, so you get the die cuts and the little water for the lily pads. And here are the lily pads. All right, so that's everything in the kit. Let me see which one I wanna make, which is gonna be hard in my living room. Let me just move that down like that a little bit. Um, I really like this forget-me-not cord. I think I'm gonna do this one here. So, all right, I have to open the little stamp and dimensional. I keep moving around to get comfortable here on my floor. Like I said, I have a big project um, and I have some filming I need to do for two things for my channel. So I know I've done, it's the time of the month with the unboxings and then I get into more projects project-based videos. Oops, yeah, so I made a big mess of that. Let me just rub that in. So I need one of the stamps. Which one did they use? Um, your friendship is unforgettable. This looks really juicy, this stamp. 
And uh, I didn't bring a flag, not a flag. I need a flag to stamp on. I didn't bring a stamping block. So let me go grab that. I'll be right back. All right, I thought I had grabbed everything, but I didn't. And um, these little animals near me went crazy with the tissue paper. So I had to get rid of that. All right, sometimes you have to stamp that out a couple times to get a good image, but we're gonna see what happens here. I feel like it's a little thick there, but we're gonna go with it here. Yeah, that's not the greatest, the greatest stamp there. Let me, um, hmm. I have this piece of cardboard here, which makes beautiful journals. <laughs> I'm getting an ink all over myself. Ah, oh, Sky, come on, baby. Sorry about all the uh, kitten cameos. It's getting a little bit better. Sometimes you need to stamp these out a half a dozen times or so to get the ink to go on and this ink pad is super juicy which is nice but um sometimes for stamping it works against you so let me get that on there straight all right that's better than the top one even though it's not centered perfectly it's a lot better. Yeah, that's good. All right, let's move on here. So I need one of these. And this gets put on with a dimensional. Let me get the directions in here. Open these up. So pretty. These, uh, Oops, all the little, all the little embellishments fell off. Uh, one up here. Sometimes I put more on than what they recommend. So yeah, this is a cute little monthly kit. I have a, a little embellishment stuck on me. They're on my floor. Like I said, I skip a lot of months. Um, when I don't feel like I'm going to love the, the theme or whatever. And they always give an ad for the next month, but they didn't in this kit. So I don't know what's going on here. So this goes... Wait a minute. Yeah, it goes like this on the inside. <clears throat> Excuse me. Goes like that. It's cute, so that kind of like pops up. And then I need a bow. So let me get the the twine out. For the thread. make a little bow if I can find the uh, end of this there it is all right so let's make a little bow with my very inked fingers Uh, didn't work that great here. So yeah, after this unboxing, I'm going to be making projects. So junk journal projects. So hang in there, my friends. If this doesn't interest you, which we're not all card makers, I know that. And I did bring scissors out here. And then it wants me to 
on this, on the back, put some double-sided tape. So let me get that out. Find the end, which is right there. I don't have all my tools in my craft room. I like my little pokey tool to pull the tape up. Or the back of the tape. And I don't have that, so I'm gonna have to try to use my nails. Hold on one second. There we go. Got that up, and then it wants to, it wants you to kind of have that above the sentiment. Like that, right? Kind of like that. A little more centered than I did it. Let me, let me try to center that a little bit better. And then when you turn it over, you can see the bow. And then I'm gonna use dimensionals on this. And then I think I want one on the back too, on the middle too. They don't show one there, but I want one there. here. You can barely tell that's a bow there, but it's cute. Play around with it. All right, so this is it. That's the card. That's cute. Us to never forget the people we love. When you give someone these sky blue flowers with the yellow centers, it represents a promise that you'll always remember them. It also represents your hope that they will always remember you. So cute. So I can embellish it with the little dots all over my um, floor here. Let me just put a couple on like it in threes um, and then one, one in here that's kind of pretty right I would move that over but I think it's gonna mess it up so that's it I hope you enjoyed the little kit and um, yeah have a great day let me know what you think and uh, I'll see you next time when I'm working on projects all right take care everybody